What's up guys, it's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. I'm the guy that used to be in the garage and then I added a sea can beside my garage and then I added a storage bay and then I moved to a small bay and now I'm currently in another bay, just currently moving in right here. What I'm getting at is I built my business item by item starting with nothing. I have a tent rental company. Oh, let's rewind this back to a video that I meant to post a long time ago. Photo boothing rental guy. And people often ask me, how do you start a party rental business? Hence why I've made videos about my party rental business. But it's a very, very loaded question, I'd say, because the answer really, really can go one way or another way. The answer could be anything, actually. It really depends you know, what level you're coming in at. Are you starting with nothing? Are you starting with something? Uh, do you want to niche out on items? Well, anyways, today our video is going to be, you know, where would I start if I was starting with nothing, uh, one item, and I was only marketing on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook. So this is how I would start if I was starting a party rental business from my house with an item on Facebook Marketplace. Out of all these items, where would I start? Hmm. Which item should I pick? Answers at the end. Just kidding, the answer's right now. Let's get into it. Okay, how much money do you have? Do you have to build something and start renting it? Because lots of people do that. If you were gonna build something, I'd recommend building like an arch. I've got triangle arch right there. You can rent that through Facebook Marketplace. Uh, you know, I rent them through my company for about, uh, what, $85? for a rental, but if you're marketing through Facebook Marketplace, you probably want to cut that price in half so that all the price fishers will go to you. So 45 bucks for an arch, I think it costs about, you know, 50 bucks to build that arch. So, I mean, you almost get your money back in one rental. So you could market an arch there and arches might be your thing. You could be like, damn, you know, like I made my money back in one rental. And you know, you rent it out 15, 16 times during the summer. I mean, you do the math on that, right? So you want to double your money. Well, then you get two arches, right? So it costs you a hundred bucks. So once you rent something twice, then uh, you can start renting it more and more. It's like, oh, okay, I've got two triangle arches and I've got a, uh, you know, I've got a rectangle arch. By the way, I sell the blueprints for these arches there. You can go get the blueprints and build one for yourself. So now arches is your thing. You're the, you're known as the arch guy in town and you just build them all out of wood. So, you know, all of a sudden you can have 15, 16 arches and then all you have to do is have people coming, picking up these arches, you know, 45, 50 bucks a pop for a rental, assuming that they're nice and they're stained and lacquered, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, you got something on your hands here. Yeah, you're niching out on arches. After one season, you've probably have a whole bunch of rentals under your belt. You've built up some arches. You know, you need to gather a place where, you know, people can know now that they know you as the arch guy, they want to visit your website. They want to see all your different arch options. You don't want to have it all through Facebook at this point. So you make a little starter website, you have a little gallery and people can pick the arch they want. This is your specialization. So you're specializing in arch rentals. My website, I just use Weebly, www.weebly.com. And I use a drag and drop editor to make my website super simple. You do that too. Uh, don't overthink it. And you know, people will come to you. And once you have that, that little bit extra, you're a little bit more professional, you can charge a little bit more. People are wanting to pay a little bit more. And let's be honest. I mean, I don't know if you know this, but I know this is a picture sells everything. If you have the right picture of something, it'll sell way more. People make their decisions based on a picture majority of the time. If you don't have a showroom, I don't have a showroom. So people make their decisions. Uh, you know, I have made all of my bookings off of pictures on my website because this is not a showroom. I mean, what can they do? They come here and they see this big mess. It's embarrassing. I am moving to a bigger place with a showroom. So you get that picture and it will rent. So, you know, I often try to swap out pictures as much as possible until I get a banger of a picture. Once I get a banger of a picture, it just What do you need? What do you need? What do you need? The, the product just moves. Honestly, guys, there's not much more else to it. Find an item, start renting that item, use the money from that item to reinvest in more of those items, and then just keep getting more items. And then you rent more and more and more out on the same day. And then you just grow, you know, one rental one day, five rentals 
next couple weeks after you buy more and uh, before you know it, you're big. That's it. I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, again, I'm Lee, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And uh, as always, you stay classy.